Kia ora, I'm Bonnie Jensen. I'm Darcy Watergrave. Welcome into Formal Friday. F footy shirt Friday. Formal Friday. Footy shirt. Shall we fight for it? Who wore it better? Yeah, let's not worry about that. Let's look at the sport on the weekend. Of course, the main focus for all of us when it comes to rugby is the Super Rugby semi-finals. The Blues taking on the Crusaders in a grudge match. Got to be grudge, right? You're not oh. having the final last year, don't you? Yeah, it's a, would you say it's kind of a, a derby match? Uh, yeah, and I know that I was phenomenally unpopular at Eden Park last year, running around the place screaming at the top of my lungs in my red and black shirt. So did, maybe... you, did you streak? No, I didn't streak. Oh. No, yeah, no. yeah that's, for, that's for the Warriors no, matches. No, no, no. Yeah. If I was to do something like that, I would stroll. I would remove my clothes and walk casually across the field because I, I, have, I have no fear. That's the new thing. Stroll, ladies and gentlemen. And, of course, the Brumbies are taking on the Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs are favourites for that one at home at the FMG Stadium, all for the right to the fight in the final come next weekend. Talk to me about your beloved motorsport. There's way too much motorsport on this weekend, ladies and gentlemen. There are Kiwis involved everywhere. Hayden Padden is over in Europe at the European Rally Championship, which means he's not home at the New Zealand Rally Championship, which is being in uh, South Canterbury over the weekend. If Ben Hunt wins that, all he has to do is finish second to Hayden Padden for the rest of the year. He wins the title. There's also supercars over in Darwin, Shane Van Gisbergen, sitting in an unusual fourth position for those three races over the weekend. The Indy cars is on at the beautiful Speedway. Well, it's not a Speedway, sorry. It's, it's a road track road america over in wisconsin a few kiwis involved in that we've got formula one on first thing on monday morning and um, that's over in canada another wonderful racetrack there and we've got super formula with liam lawson who is currently at the top have i missed anything uh, i just couldn't tell you, you, couldn't it was a, it was you? A, no yeah, i mean Fine, there's a lot but but sal gp yeah back. Uh, what can you tell me about that? Well, New Zealand will look to look to start their season strong, and and there's a new team, Germany, in it. But but tell me about the freshwater lake. The freshwater. So we're in the lake. We're in one of the Great Lakes, and obviously that's where Chicago is. There's no sea anywhere near the place because there's no salt in it. It means the craft themselves are a little harder to control. Mm. They're a little more twitchy. Now I don't know this from experience. I've been talking to Blair <laughs> Chuk. He told me apparently top end speed a bit more. But with ten teams now, a lot tighter. So it might be a bit more crashing over there. That's the first of twelve rounds. Only five weeks after the final. And Ryan Fox back in action. Yeah, indeed. Uh, Ryan Fox, one of the most casually lovable guys there is in sport. You, you can't not like this yeah, boat, really. Please. And uh, Lydia yeah. Coe in the LPGA as well, so a couple of New Zealand golfers too. And the All Whites. They've got two games on the bounce over in... They've got one against... Sweden. And then they've got the other against Qatar, 48 hours apart. And it's almost like an audition. It's not really for Darren Baisley, but yeah. they're looking to get some kind of traction. Little, so. little quick trip over... Over to Europe and back. Not for me, no. I'm not no. a football fan. You're the no. football fan. Oh, well. You're the one going to do that as well. Anything else on over the weekend? Well, yeah, of course, the Women's Water Polo National League Finals. Uh, the favourites are the North Harbour Hammerheads and uh, Canterbury Water Polo Club. But that's happening in Auckland up, this, uh, up here this weekend. So it should be exciting. Yeah, I found the biggest problem with water polo is that my horse always drowned. <laughs> <laughs> Dad jokes! I'm a dad after all, I'm allowed to say that, right? Am I? Yeah. Is that okay? I guess so. Yeah. No. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Bonnie. Cheers. <laughs>